Hi guys, it's EJ Kim back with another video. In this video, I am going to teach you how to solve this rhombic dodecahedron Rubik's Cube. So it has similar concepts to the 3x3, so compared to 3x3, the center would be this, uh, edge, and corners would be these for it. It also has a similar concept to a Fisher cube, because uh, if you can see, these edge pieces are like longer, so they don't have two colors, they only have one color. And in this one, the center have the centers have four colors, which makes it have 12 sides. So there is two of each color, so there's one blue. And the opposite of the blue, right there, will also be a blue color. So, uh, let's get started. So the center orientations do matter. matter. So we're gonna find a blue that will go here. Which will, which is right there or here. So we will just, uh, put this up here. And since this is orange, the, uh, center has to be orange there, but there's, since there's no orange here, we are going to rotate this like here, like this, and then we're gonna match these blue two by doing that. So now we have our little the corner just went in, but we have these three and these two red, and these two are just you know randomly made. So make sure that's together. Now since the green is there, we can just take this green out here, move it aside, move it aside. Move the screen so that it's on top like that, and then we move this back in place, and now we have our two of the green sold. And we turn it back again, green, orange, and we have our yellow right there. And here, white, red. So we're gonna have to move this here, which we can just take uh, this piece out and do that. So now we have yellow, yellow. Uh, so these are correct, red, red, yellow, yellow, this, so they're correct. So now there are two corners that have the same color. So for here, there were there would be a yellow, orange, green, and there would also be a yellow, green, orange. So here the one has to go with yellow, orange, green, which I think is not this one. So it's uh, that one. So if you just uh, insert it like a normal 3x3, three three, uh, just like that. The corner is in place, yellow, 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 so we're good. So here goes red, uh, green, green, white, which is this one, and it is the correct one. So we would just insert it right there. So now we have red, 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 and these solved. Here we would need yellow, or yellow, uh, white, blue, which is right here, but that one is actually is the correct. So we'll just insert it just like that. So now we have our bottom uh, one side complete. So now what we are going to do is we're going to solve these uh, pieces. So just like uh, F12 on the 3x3, three three, we're just going to insert that way. So it's not worth it. Before you solve this, make sure you know how to solve a 3x3. Three three. So make sure that you're looking at so that. Uh, the two yellow pairs are in the right, and this one is on the yeah. Just look at it, and we do this out U R U prime R prime, F R prime F prime U uh, R. So we will put the yellow there, red, yellow, and red finally here, just like that. Yes. So now it's, we're on the top cross section. So. You just kind of play around. So since y this yellow needs to go there, we just with algorithms so that these are connected, just like that. Now, in a case where um, these two are like this, you have to switch one of these pieces with one of the pieces on the bottom. So because this is like kind of a parody, I guess you can get on this cube. So what you would need to do is you would need to uh, switch them. So what you can do is, since the other blue is here, you can just bring this two sides up so that the blue is on the top with this piece, 
like that. And then we swap these, so now, now the, the other blue is in no place, and we bring it down. And now we just insert the corners again. So now that corner is in place, and uh, this is the corner, and now, uh, right, this, this is the corner, and now this corner is in place. Uh, we insert this red, and and then we insert this yellow in, just like that. Now what we can do is, uh, we have to, uh, now look at it this way, so that the one that is solved is on your left, and the algorithm. Now we have our uh, cross solved. So now it's the, well, and a pillow, I guess you could say it. So it's the orange, orientation, wait, it's the, yeah, permutation, and then the orientation. Yes. So we gotta make sure that these corners are in their correct place. So none of these are, so you have to design with them. All of the algorithms will be down in the description below, so make sure to check it out if you're not sure. So now that we'll cycle the pieces, so now we have one that's solved. Make sure that that is the one that is in the right spot is on your left bottom of the algorithm. Oh, sorry. Make sure that the one that is solved is on your right bottom. And now we just gotta do R D I R D move to uh, orient this the correct way. So make sure that the one that is not solved is on your right bottom, and do this with R R prime. D prime R D R prime D prime R D. So now that the white is solved, move this this side so that the one that is not solved is on your right bottom and do this again. R prime D prime R D R prime D prime R D R prime D prime R D R prime D prime R D. And now do a U two. Actually, just U prime, and now the whole cube will be solved. So in my next video, I will do a tutorial on how to solve the Moyu Wheel of Time or the Time Round Cube. So if you have one, make sure to check that video out. You need to make sure also to follow me on Instagram. I have the link for my Instagram page down in the description below. So make sure to check that out, and thank you for watching.